And I'm still looking at you, Neil. I'm still looking at you. Yee! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Chain Chomp time. I've been dreading this moment. <laughs> Please don't get us in trouble, Neil. Lava, no! No, there's not. He's too far away from the lava. It's just I'm being overly dramatic. That was actually a good shot. And as a matter of fact, I think I'll be able to make the green in two and keep us from getting into any sort of horrendous trouble. Hopefully. I mean, it, do it doesn't matter too much if I just end up around the green rather than on the green, but, you know, I'm going for the birdies. I don't know about Neil, but I'm going for the birdies. And I'm, I'm going to try hitting to the flat spot on the front of the green. Oh, I didn't quite make it. That means he's going to want to chip because... Computers don't generally put off the green, but using a forward is probably as good as a putt. Yeah! <laughs> nice work, Neil. I have regained faith in you. <laughs> All right, so I got... This is a much easier pin location than it was the last time at that other corner, but with that fast fairway there, it's still, still no pushover, so I'm going to have to still be rather careful about this. Super backspin and everything. Oh, I'm just wasting my power shots left and right. Well, I shouldn't say wasting, because I am using them wisely. It's just that I'm mishitting when I'm actually using them, because I wanted more height on the ball, so I chose a power shot. Anyway, another birdie. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I guess. But I will try and conserve the power shots a little bit more here. Uh, starting with this hole, because power shot won't really help me here. <laughs> Power shot will, me, will make me hit into the really thin portion of fairway at an angle over there at the third button, you know, the plane panel there. And let's move that green into better position for Neil. And there it goes. Woo! <laughs> I don't know why it just teleports there. I, I think that there would be some sort of like animation to it or something like that. Nope, but no, it just pops right over. Did you just... Oh, no. Oh, no! All that work I did on my drive, well, okay, it was one shot, but... To land it on the play panel, and for you to make it out of bounds? Neil. Neil. I better get close, and you better make the putt. Okay, that that looks doable for you. Because <laughs> that's it's still going to be bogey, but... It's much better than a double bogey, like, you know, hole number five. We can't forget about the rock wall. <laughs> but that's okay. We're still in the lead. And I'm not sure if we're actually going to pull off beating the high score. Because Neil, oof, he's just been playing horrendous. But, well, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to pull off beating the tournament. Well, I'll be able to. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, first off, I'm gonna show you how this works now. Remember I said that the piranha plants swap positions in the open waters and closed waters? Yeah, that's how it works if you land on one of those panels. And vice versa if you land on another panel. Uh, in multiplayer, you could actually use those play panels to screw with your opponents. Like, if they think that you're in a good position in front of one of those open water areas and you landed on a panel, you could put a piranha plant right in front of their face. But, uh, well, can't really do it here. <laughs> I'm going to try there and a little topspin to get it rolling into the hole, hopefully. Uh, that's not bad, <laughs> but not in. Not going to be able to make birdies if I'm going to have to keep chipping it in here. So, But as long as we stay under par, I think we're going to win this. All right, now i gotta, I got to get us in good position here because Neil... Neil's scaring me, so I'm gonna really try and rip this one compared to what I did at the last time I played this hole by playing it conservative and short of all this stuff. The reason why is because I wanna just get past... Yeah, this is a, a, a riskier landing area, but if I should have gotten us in trouble, and maybe I did there, um, what'll happen is the... Uh, he'll, he'll decide to pitch out to the side or something like that. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me, Neil! Neil! You're killing me here! <laughs> I, I did an incredibly beautiful drive and that's that's how it turns out? That's how you hit? 
Fine, I'll do my low running shot to the hole, like I did on my run through this course. And you, you make the putt. You make that. Thank you. <laughs> At least we got par there. All right, I've got the shot to the green here, so chances are I can do something with this that he wouldn't be able to do today. Um, I'm gonna hit it onto the flat spot so he doesn't have to move the cursor at all with just a little backspin to stop it. There's a little drop and stop, nothing to get super close or something like that, just just to get us, well that's not bad. It was a little shorter than how I wanted it, but it's, it's still doable, just don't move the cursor too much and you'll make that putts. Oh! <laughs> that, was, that was close. But a birdie it is. Oh shoot, this is gonna... This is gonna cause him so much issue and uh oh, I just realized I'm out of power. Well... Uh oh. I will do my best without power, but... Oh, there's three holes to go. And all we have to do is keep our lead, so... Here we go. Land between the mushrooms so we have a relatively clear shot. Now what's going to happen is he's not going to go for the green from there. What he's going to do is try and hit out somewhere and are you, are you really that close to the mushroom? I guess you are? Um, I don't really think that was necessary, but alright. I'm going to hit over here then. And then you hit to the green, I guess. I think we're gonna end up bogeying or double bogeying this hole though, regardless. Because uh, apparently I got us in ba a bad position off the drive. I don't really think I did though. I think something just been, been derping with the AI. <laughs> Alright, Neil. Oh no. Please don't be that bad of a miss hit. Please don't be that bad of a miss hit. Thank you! <laughs> okay. No, I gotta make this. For bogey, but I gotta make this anyway. I think I'll move it a smidge to the right, and wait a second. I'm gonna have to, yeah, switch to, to normal middle putt, because it's pretty well uphill here. And hope for the best. Please go in, yes! That's the happiest bogey I've ever made. <laughs> Two under par? I think you have to beat like four under par or something like that to get the, the doubles high score. Which, with the way that Neil is playing here, it just does not seem possible. <laughs> Unless I'm chipping the ball in. Like, look at look at this. Now we're in the rough. So I gotta hit into the green. 182. Uh, well, that, that's actually doable, thanks to the wind. Uh, miss it that a little bit, but all that's gonna do is make it go to the right a little bit. And that's actually usable, because there's enough green there. Oh, I overhit it. Interesting. Okay, well, that's not too shabby considering what I was left with. Please chip in. Please chip in. Ah, Nice flop shot attempt, though. <laughs> well, I mean, it was a flop shot, and he did manage to get it inside a good distance from the hole, so it wasn't really so much an attempt as it was a successful maneuver, but, you know, I, I would have been going the chip in route. <laughs> you know me, though. Uh, why did you hit all the way over there? You aren't trying to hit to that plate panel, are you? Uh, oh! Ooh! You made a good shot! Yes! Yes! Uh, I still can't make the green though, that's okay. I'm gonna do the route that I had planned before by going over here and stopping it on the fairway. Regular fairway, not the uh, fast fairway with super backspin. The wind's gonna help keep it back as well, so I should be able to control it enough. Yeah, there we go. That came a little close to semi-rough, but that will do. Now, do not under or over hit this, Neil. Oh boy, that looks under hit. Oh no, okay, that's good, actually. <laughs> I just got a little worried knowing him lately. And I don't think I have to move the cursor for that, because it's crossing right over the... No, it may be a little bit to the left. Because I was going to say, it's, it's going straight up the arrows, but it's not after I've seen the line, and I'll hit about eh, there, I think. Yes, all right, ended with birdie, and whew, that was a rough one. <laughs> oh, we won. Uh, Bowser, once again, came in fourth. Uh, Wario didn't fare so well. He came in fourth the last tourney, but no, not, not this time. 
Oh, poor Lakitu and Cheap Cheap. How does a Cheap Cheap golf anyway? I'm just, never mind. <laughs> All right. I will take that victory. And, well, I don't know. I just, I, I feel like making my own trophy just to display in my room or something. Because that, that was a heck of a round. <laughs> All right, I'm going to straighten your shot. And whoops, whoops, I wanna just, yeah, do one straighten, and then, actually, no, I will do it twice, because it's just gonna offset her shot, uh, no matter which stat I, uh, shift off anyway, so there we go, and drive distance for Neil. <sighs> I win, well, we win, but, you know... I think this really was more my victory. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Neil didn't contribute that much. I mean, yeah, he did have some good shots in there. But for the most part, I was the one getting us out of trouble trying to just figure stuff out. Like, the, the rock wall thing was the most ridiculous thing. <laughs> you know, back on hole 5, where he got me right, right pinned behind the rocks, and I had to hit out to the side, and then he hit, and he hit off to the side of the game, I didn't make the chip in, it was just a disaster. <laughs> but, in any case, here are the credits again for the fourth time. <laughs> so, these are the people that made the game, I did not, I just made the walk through to help people, and entertain people, and yada, yada, yada. <laughs> <laughs> Does that seem weird that you see the credits this many times through the course of the game like this? Oh, uh, and don't think that we're done with uh, the game or anything like that. As I said, there's this stuff. There's stuff to see in the overall. Like, we still haven't went to that club place, the club trader place. Um, and also, there are a bunch of hidden items hanging around the, the overworld areas and stuff like that. Yeah, hidden items! I haven't mentioned that, have I? Well, that's because I wanted to kind of save them for a single part. There aren't that many hidden items around the world, but, you know, there's there's enough that I could have a whole, I, I, I guess you could say, a, a portion of a part with them in it, and then, you know, I'll check out the dialogue of people post-game and stuff like that, and all sorts of other stuff that has changed. Well, maybe change post-game and whatnot. But there's our congratulations. And, of course, because we did, we did some stuff like beating the tournaments. Star Double Cup is good to go. We got some holes unlocked. Mushroom Double Cup hole 13. I mean, uh, yeah, for, I mean, because we placed in the Mushroom Double Cup. But we didn't beat the high score. So there's still the thing of that we got to do uh, the Mushroom Double Cup again. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably going to be uh, in the next part. Probably. I'm not not really sure. It all depends how things roll out, I guess. You know, how things go and stuff like that. So, we'll see. But for now, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I continue the Mario Golf Advance Tour walkthrough. Heck yeah! <laughs>